Welcome to Good Mythical More. Man, I have, whew, I'm just really coming down from using all my smarts. Yeah, right. Man, I'm just, I gotta, I gotta tuck, I gotta tuck that smart muscle away. Yeah, now we the next time watch, I gotta use it. Watch things. Yeah, we're gonna watch TikToks of experiments so dangerous that they weren't allowed to be performed in this studio, so we just gotta watch other people perform them. And we're gonna erupt this here volcano. They don't make volcanoes like they used to. Apparently they're better now. But first, let's check our voicemail. Link, you're old. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Go on. That was simple. simple. Go on. Simple, straightforward, to the point. Link, you're old. But not as old as others. Yeah. You know what, we are old. And it's like I was telling the crew, I tell them every morning. I was like, you know what? You're young. You, you'll be lucky to live to our age. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're for, we're fortunate. We're fortunate to live to this age. Yeah. A lot of cave and, uh, cave people didn't live this long. A lot of cave people didn't live to this age. Yeah. Most of them, as a matter and, of fact. Um, and you don't know what your future holds for you, crew. And so, uh, so you need to start looking at us a little more longingly for our age. Longingly. <laughs> Let's make a volcano. Well, you know, let's see one of these TikToks and then we'll The way that volcano. they do this now, first of all, you don't, they sell a volcano in a box and they try to make it where it's like. We started from nothing. We had nothing. We made the volcano from nothing. Back when we didn't know how old we were gonna get. We got vinegar, we, we got bacon soda. Just with household items. We made a mess. We used elephant dung to make the, the spire. We don't even know where we got it. But we got it. Let's oh, it see. smells so nice. Stevie, sh should we be warned? Yes. Should we give a warning? Don't try this at home. The volcano? No, the, the what you're about to show us. Oh, maybe. Let's see after we watch the first yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, let's make a decision. Okay, none of us have seen this. This is how you can do this at home. Take butane, which is a yes. gas we use in lighters, <laughs> and put it in a bottle with water. Butane. Also, it might not work the first time, so you'll have to try it again. Okay. Now just flip it. Butane evaporates at the bottom of the bottle and shoots the water out. And your ankles touch each other as you get afraid. Cool chemistry guy. You got, cool chemistry guy, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be more poised when things like that happen. You, you gotta be, so? You gotta be cool and calm about it. You can't be like, I don't know if you should. Cringy. I mean, I just don't know if you should be critiquing. He's cool and he's a chemistry guy. He's in a field and he looks. I mean, scared. You haven't done anything like that in he quite a while. He looks scared. I'm not. My name is not cool chemistry guy. Right. He's not cool. You don't it's know one of the he, three oh. words in his name. You don't know if it, he's not being. He, he may cool. not have given himself that name. Oh, I I have. So I have an explanation, and then and then in my explanation, it answers the question. Is he that cool? You had asked. Yeah. Yeah. When the bottle's turned over, the water mixing with the butane causes the butane to almost instantaneously turn to, into a gas. The gas expands rapidly and it, it escapes out of the bottom of the bottle, creating a rocket. Note, do not try this at home. He wasn't at home. He was in a field. Butane is extremely cold and he can cause over injuries there? to bare skin. Also, this reaction can cause the plastic bottle to explode. So even if it seems cool. And it didn't. It's not worth the risk of major injury. Stay safe, kids. Smiley face. So right, because it because what could happen? It could come in, it could fire back in your face. It could put out your eye. It could put out your sense of smell, your sense of all of your senses probably. And who knows what the butane could do? So we've got. And what is it doing to the soil? Fertilizing it. We got bicarbonate sodium. And citric acid, these are the first two ingredients that we were supposed to load into the okay. hole. And then, but not that much. Well, I'm getting about the same amount. And then, you take your, oh, you've already done the scissors other? and yeah, you mix. And then you just put water in there, which yeah. we have here. Let's see another one before we really go for it, because we also have pop crystals that we're gonna throw oh, in yeah, this Oh yeah, that's next round. Oh, next round? We're doing multiple rounds? Multiple rounds. Okay, let's see another. Okay. This is what she meant all put our phones away before. <laughs> She's gonna toast herself. Okay, tell me when you're ready. Okay. Oh no. She's doing a little mixing. Oh! <laughs> what? I, was that a doctor? 
Burn that woman! <laughs> or a witch. Each I'm... container has a different solution. One has vitamin C, iodine, and water, and the other has a hydrogen peroxide plus liquid starch solution. Okay. Iodine is blue in the presence of starch, but before it can turn that color, the vitamin C reacts and consumes it, keeping the solution colorless. However, once the vitamin C is gradually used up, the solution quickly turns blue because the iodine and starch are present. So essentially, two reactions happen at the same time, with one delaying the other, Amazing. creating a cool timed effect. Now, why couldn't Stay we safe, do that? Kids, smiley face. We could do that. We could have done that. We one. could totally do that. Yeah, but did I you mean, see how she looked? I don't think she so. looked nervous. Yeah. No, she also looked really cool. I don't know if you could. Pull well, that she off. she looked happier. You also said, "Is she a doctor?" I wouldn't think that about you. And those are other reasons why you could not do this. I didn't say I wouldn't think that about you. I said I wouldn't think that about you. About me? Yeah, when you put on a white coat, you don't look like a doctor. And first of all, neither does she. She looks like a chemist. Well, maybe a chemistry teacher. Yeah. Chemistry, that, that explains the whiteboard behind her and the class reacting to it. <laughs> Unless like it's an appointment, it's a group appointment. You ever been to a group appointment? Sometimes, like if you want, if you want, if real everybody cheap, has the same problem. Yeah, if cheap healthcare, if you get up to a dozen people that have the same problem, you can all get examined at the same time. Yeah. It's Line like them a group up, on. It's a it's group a on for a medical issue. And usually they start with a demonstration because it's like you're all there, you got an audience. Yeah. Okay, here, let's push this up a little bit. It's gonna go everywhere, Link. More, 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 more. Less, less, less. Mower, 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 mower. I feel like I've never been to an active volcano, it's too but watery. I've, I've been to an inactive volcano. Steer it up with the with the skizzers. Smell that. It smells like a it smells like a lab. All right. So next time we're gonna put some pop rocks in this. You want one of these? All right. Let's see another one. Alright, cool. Man's got some rubidium metal there in it. Now this one is a matting. This is the second most reactive metal in the whole world. The only thing more reactive than this is cesium. And I've got a little bit of cesium there, it's gold in that, you get me? But rubidium is silver still. Open up the glass ampule and get the rubidium metal out in it. Smash, you're done though. Okay, so as soon as rubidium metal is exposed to air, it changes colour and melts into a liquid. And that's because the rubidium metal reacts with the oxygen in the air to form rubidium superoxide. And this reaction is exothermic and it causes the metal to melt. Now, as I touch the rubidium metal, we can see bare sparks in that, you get me? And what we're going to do now is react it with some water. Crazy, watch this. What? Oh, holy what? Oh my days, fam. <laughs> oh my days, fam. I love that guy's accent. You get me. He kept saying, you get me? Yeah, it took me halfway through to realize it was English. You, you get me? You get me? Uh, yeah, I, I think he kind of said it all. Uh, Stevie, there's not much left to say uh, yeah. unless I would oh, want to understand it. No. Stay safe, kids. Smiley face. Okay, yeah. Um, you know how... He has the two most reactive metals just in his backyard. I love channels like this where they get hold of these things. Big uh, money. You know... Uh, Sodium, just straight sodium. Salt. If you, no, not sodium chloride, sodium. Okay. So if you take straight sodium, like a ball of sodium, and you throw it, like there was a, in a, pool. a chemistry teacher, I think, uh, in Harnett County who took it and threw it into a pond. a pond, and it created a giant explosion that several kids, I think it was a group doctor's appointment. He's a chemist and a doctor. Uh -huh. And it was outside. Were they all it was a, over? It was a physical. And right before he asked them all to turn and cough, he threw sodium into the pond. And what happened? It blew up. It's crazy. Did it hurt them? No, they're all fine. See, kids, they're all fine. So you should not try it at your local pond. Uh, uh, I'm going to do some let's, more of this now. Oh, we want to leave that down? Yeah. It's going to immediately up. start erupt. Well, I, I need to empty this up. Oh, gosh. Okay. So we got pop crystals. These are not the edible kind. Should I do a different proportion? Or is it just 50 50? Mad Dog? 50 50 or science it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do a little science shenanigan here. And then. Rocks. 
rocks all on the top here. You know what? There we go. Oh. And nope. then, so how do we get water in there? Well, we get rid of the, some of the pop rocks just by pouring. Okay. This is interesting. I didn't mix it. This you got is it. cool. I think you want to mix. This is cool. You get mix me? Mix a little bit in a minute. I'm going to start saying you, you get me more often. Now mix. This there is, we go. This is how volcanoes actually work. God takes his big scissors and sticks them into the, <laughs> to the top. <laughs> to the top of the earth. <laughs> yeah. God's got his scissors again. This one didn't work as well. Eh, it's working. I mean, if you're doing this as your actual like competitive science experiment, it's a demonstration. You know you're gonna lose. Yeah, it's not There's an no experiment. Real question. It's a demonstration. You deserve to lose if this is your experiment. We've just we've demonstrated pretty much how lame this is. Let's see another one of the stellar experiments. If I hold it like this Whoa, and then let it go, down. what will happen? It will drop. drop. Why? Gravity. Boring. Uh, boring. We start spinning it. Ready? I've seen this. I drop it. Ah! And it stays. Well, what a show. What's happening? This doctor's crazy. Happening? It's a gyroscope now. It is spinning and it is presetting like our planet Earth. <laughs> yo, yo, planet yo. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call Earth from now on. Yo, yo, yo. Wow, she needs that more doctor. First has of all, got some energy. She needs more energy. Uh, we need to we need to bring it up a few notches so everyone will I listen. Fall. I love I that you just. I have a bite. <laughs> you saw a woman just like defy physics, and you're just making fun of her accent. <laughs> Hey, listen, I've played with a gyroscope before. I, we've seen I've this. I've also ridden a bike. Right. Yeah. No hands. That's how, that's how no hands works, right? Not really. Yeah. No it's, hands with it. Because it's free, because it's free spinning. Yeah. That was pretty great. Have you seen the, there's another one of these where there's another uh, teacher that is in a stool that is free spinning and they hold both sides of a wheel that's spinning like that and they begin turning the whole Chair begins turning because that's of right. That, Put of yourself that. in harm's way if you're gonna if you want to really teach the kids. You remember when Mr. Bryant would like decide to do some kind of his physics class, but he would like, yeah, like be like, we're gonna go in the hall and do something, like swing a pendulum. And I actually don't remember going in the hall with Mr. Bryant. Mr. Bryant was the greatest. Um, he taught us AP physics and calculus. Calculus as. Uh, his high school seniors. He had this weird sense of humor that like snuck up on you. He wasn't in your face like this part. Like he was very subtle. Very, so you, you way had to more, really way more subtle than you had this to, lady. He chose his moments and you had to wait for it because he, he would kind of he would kind of talk like this. And, and he wore a short sleeve shirt and, and a tie would, every day. Yep. And his and he would he would he would do, he'd do one of those things where he would he would write on the board and then as he'd be writing on the board. His 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 belly and his shirt would erase what he had written on the board. Do you notice that almost all the male teachers at Arnett Central wore dress shirts and ties every day? It, at a public school in the middle of Arnett County, like Coach Gage wore a tie. I didn't every think single anything day. of it. Is that unusual though? Is that unusual? Uh, is it, do male teachers is, still wear dress shirts and ties at public school? That's not happening now, is it? I think it's a situation. I don't go in my kids' like, school. They'll don't wear go anywhere near whatever. There all the rest of the male teachers are wearing at that school. And so if that's what they're wearing, and they don't want to like, wear it. turn the, you know, yeah. be like, I'm the polo guy. I mean, I would go in for like, like the middle school meet the teacher. I guess I would go in for the high school meet the teachers. The, no, so the answer is no. Yeah, my the kids teachers no. are, are wearing ties. Now that I think about something that I've done and I apply my personal life to the answering of your question, the answer is no. Mm -hmm. Let's see another one. This is what happens when you pour liquid nitrogen on a balloon. The gas inside a balloon turns into liquid and solid, and it shrinks. When you take it out, the liquid turns back into gas, and the balloon grows. What? They pruned a balloon. And depruned it. Oh, this is still cool chemistry guy, by the way. Much cooler. When you don't see a shorts. Um, <laughs> or it's like, 
his scared reactions. So it turns into a liquid and a solid. And, yeah. And then it comes back. That's cool. It's giving balloons that new life cool. again. That is cool. The, the balloons need, they need a future, you know? Because um, most balloons start to think, when they start to shrink like that, they think, this is it, my life is over. Right. And then that balloon, that happens and it comes back. That must be a weird feeling. It gives us hope as middle-aged men. Huh. Who we hope you will all be one day. Right. If Let's you're see lucky. another one. Oh, peanut butter. Oh, this is red hot. Um, it's basically a red hot ball of steel. In, that's a, some yellow peanut butter. I, this is a really fun thing to watch on the internet in general is when they take a red hot ball. It's just cooking the peanut butter. And they drop, sometimes it'll they'll put it on something. Oh, and he's it just, touching it. Just drops through everything. Yeah. I mean, it didn't really change the I mean, right around the ball, it burnt the peanut butter. I mean, peanut butter but is resilient. Yeah, it's very resilient. Good, I'm, I'm surprised that he grabbed that beaker. And you know that beaker, strong beaker, will stand will stand some heat, man. If you're ever gonna swallow a red hot ball, an iron ball or a steel ball, eat a lot of peanut butter right before you do it. <laughs> right, fill your belly full of peanut You'll butter. You'll be just fine. You want to see another red hot ball thing? Yes. yes. Yeah, I think it ho hopefully it gets better. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. yes. The sound. Oh. I think the ice ultimately wins. Right? Yeah, it's not gonna get all the way through. It's gonna cool it, it down. It's too stopping. Much. That sound was amazing. Of course it's submerged in water. Wow. And the water's leaking out. Look at that. Oh. Oh, it's gonna make it. It is gonna go all the way. Nope. Nope. Yep. Now is you can it? touch it with your bare hands. See? All wonderful. the heat. Wonderful. That is a wonderful thing. If you've got a, a flaming hot ball, um, don't use it. Right. Don't use Not it. Not at home, at least. That take, was, it, take it to a friend's house. That was, that was a crazy sound, dude. It was like, it was like <gasps> the, the ice was screaming. <gasps> oh, you're so hot. Oh, you're so hot. You're making a tunnel inside of me. Oh. You got another one? You ever wonder what happens if you throw a penny in some nitric acid? Never. No. Nope. Probably not, but watch anyway, because it's cool. When this copper penny is exposed to Is this nitric your real acid, voice? It quickly and violently reacts, forming copper nitrate while also spitting off a bunch of angry nitrogen dioxide. You breathe that gas. straight in? Now this is cool in its own right, but if I take the product and dilute it in water, it becomes this beautiful blue color, as the copper ions coordinate with water molecules. Pretty interesting, right? Yeah, pretty interesting, <laughs> right? It sounds like you're getting me, you're trying to get me to think it's inter interesting, but you know it's not. Pretty interesting, right? Not really, <laughs> you idiot. That's what that's what it sounded like. Yeah, he's, he's a little he, condescending. Got, he got condescending at the end. But I think that he would make for a great doctor, and you know what I mean by that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Elaborate. A chemistry teacher. Yeah. <laughs> if you want our mythical guess who game, join the Mythical Society, third degree quarterly or annual by December 31st. Mythicalsociety.com.